first of all, my heartfelt condolences to the family of uh, Moy. I would like to personally give condolences to Gideon, Raman, and the family, and to and to whole of Kenya because President Moy was a father to Kenya, to Kenyans. This project, I would give a lot of credit to to President Moy because I had a lot of problems in in. Uh, in getting the approvals in the end. And uh, when he came to know about this project, he immediately instructed to allow all the doors to open in the government. Because remember, this project was established at the time when uh, Kenya, uh, Kenya was not looked upon well by the international finances. But President Moy gave all his blessings and today you can see where Grand Balkis. He had a vision. Uh, this country will remember him. What he has done in 24 years for this country. You people are young. You don't know what he has done because I think you are you are now 25, 26. The education system, what he brought in this country, is tremendous. At the time when he took over, the illiteracy level was very, very low. Today, when he has, he, he has gone, he has left this country with illiteracy, illiteracy level at nearly 90%, 90-95%. That is a great achievement. When he took over the country, there was only one university. Now you know how many universities are there. There were very few secondary schools, but he made sure that the education was paramount. Plus, he opened up doors for businesses. During his time, the, all, the, all, all, all the parastatals which were blocking the business houses, he made sure that he opens it up. And what is today you see Grand Bulk is the result of his vision. He was a great leader. We will all miss him. And I had a he had he had a lot of feeling for this country. I met the last I met him as a president was in two thousand two in July, in July or August, and I asked him at that time at uh, with Hosea Kiplagat at his house in uh, Cabinet Garden that Your Excellency, what do you think you are now leaving us? What do he say, Jaffa? Everybody has to move. I have to vacate this for youths to come in and then take over and take this country to the different level. And this is the first African uh, president who left the presidency on his own accord. We should be very much proud of that. And I'm sure from now onwards all the presidents will follow his footstep. And just maybe, you know, what is channeling to Again, his vision and his... He immediately came out and said, things are normal. He did not... In fact, he gave more encouragement to business houses. You, you must have seen what happened in Nairobi, where the shops were looted and, all, uh, you know, all the shops were nearly looted. And overnight, within, within two weeks, again the, ship, the shops were filled up. Because of the confidence he gave back to the country. I would like to tell this, uh, my, my Kenyan brothers and sisters, he never made us felt 
the problem what Kenya was going through. We were totally blocked out by the international countries, especially America, Europe. They really, they, they had imposed on us unofficial sanction. Yet, he, with his able ministers, got us through the whole scenario. You could see that the foreign exchange was a very big problem. But he sailed us through without we, the Kenyans, feeling the difficulties. So you never felt some turbulence you know, economic wise? No. He didn't he didn't make he didn't make this country feel those painful things which he went through. I'm sure he must be spending a lot of he was spending a lot of time because I remember one day at six thirty in the morning he calls me up. I, I never expected this call at 6.30 in the morning. And I said, I was, I was really angry. 6.30 in the morning, who is calling me? I pick up the telephone. I said, yes, who is that? He said, this is Moy. I, I, I just didn't know what to say. And he was asking me on the issue, uh, in, in what you call a business issue. We had a problem in the port at that time of... Uh, the international shipping lines were trying to impose the uh, uh, surcharge on the on the on the on the on the goods carried from Mombasa, and he told me, "Is it because the port management is not working?" I said, "No, Your Excellency. The problem is that we are running short of space in the container terminal, and that's the reason that some of the ships are delayed." And the other issue are the spare parts for the machineries which are there. We are not been able to get it in time. So you can imagine how, how much care he had for the country. That uh, issue of a surcharge, he called me out.